Hey everyone. So um, I'm currently in a practice room at my college, actually. In fact, you can kind of hear jazz in the background. It's quite nice. But um, so actually, I just I just saw the movie Harvey. Made in 1950, and interesting enough, I saw the movie specifically because I have been having problems. <laughs> And it was recommended by John Green on a recent Vlogbrothers video. John Green being, I guess, half of the Vlogbrothers is really, I guess, an apt description. Um, so my thoughts on the movie, like, I'm not a movie critic. I'm not going to criticize anything. I'm probably not even going to talk about the movie, really. Just what I thought, what I felt afterwards. And it was an interesting movie, I had to admit. Um, several times, I, I just, I kind of said, what an interesting world. Because, I don't know, it, it's, it's, it's strange. Well, because everything turns out, well, I'm not going to spoil anything, but it, it, it's strange in a good way. And afterwards, I thought, I don't know, I guess... I didn't feel quite so bad, I suppose. But I didn't really think I would feel bad after watching probably anything, unless it was... extremely not particularly happy. But I thought a lot about something I told a friend... maybe a week ago? Or maybe two weeks? Maybe three. I can't really remember. But, um... So I, I stated that what... ultimately constitutes what's the, what's the most important attribute of any work of literature, in my opinion at least, was honesty. And I don't mean like the superficial honesty, like nonfiction writing. I mean, no, like nonfiction writing could be extremely honest, but it's not necessarily what I meant. I meant honesty in the sense that what you create is something meaningful to you. Like when I, when I write, usually at least, if I, if I don't feel it, then I usually don't write. But when I write, I'm really invested in anything I write. Like, I, I've tried to explain this before and I've never succeeded in doing it so. But it's almost... Like there's an internal idea of beauty. And I'm trying to express my interpretation of it through whatever it is I happen to be writing. And this feeling is extremely intense. Sometimes it could be happy, sometimes it could be just sad. It could be, it's, it's not, it's not standardized and it's not something concrete, really. It's just this kind of intrinsic emotional construct. And it's, it is beautiful to me, and I guess I try to write because I feel that, and I want to try to share that as much as possible. Or really, writing it is my way of getting closer to it. So I've talked for four minutes, and I haven't really said anything. Um, so I was going to move on to that. Okay, so moving on from that, like, I, I realize, I recognize that a lot of the things that we create, we make for either A, to impress... B, to destroy, which is ironic, or C, I don't think there is a C, or at least there's nothing that's really obvious to me, and, like, there, there, there's a third kind of class of works, though, and, like, these works are fundamentally just to make people feel better. It's like something is created, and its, its intention is not to make you really think necessarily think at least or you know walk out with the weight of the world on your shoulders and you recognize how small you are etc like the only goal is really to just let you walk out feeling better and I have to admit that a lot of the things that I've been doing recently hasn't haven't had that purpose I remember back in eighth grade I used to I came up randomly 
because I was a really impulsive child. I'm still impulsive, really. But I came up with this, this plan, uh, for this absolute plan for happiness. And my goal was to make 50 people laugh every day. 50 people is a lot of people, but I was surprisingly talented at it. <laughs> Probably because I had like no dignity or, you know, comprehension of boundaries. But um, I did a pretty good job for at least you know, a couple days until I got, you know, I, you know, I'm, I have a short term, short attention span. But I did feel better. I felt kind of empty at the same time, but I felt better. And I feel like that that by itself would probably be something worth striving for. Just creating things with no other purpose than to make whoever interacts with it, whoever sees it, just feel better. Yeah, but yeah, that's my that's my two cents. <laughs> um, it's kind of tangential, it doesn't really matter. And, you know, it's always up to you. Whatever you decide, or whatever it is I say. I mean, even I have to admit that half of the things I, th I say are probably not worth the air that they use up. But, um, I don't know. I think it'd be a nicer world that way. So I'm way over four minutes. I'm almost at seven. Thank you guys for having an amazing time of day wherever it is you are. And goodbye. Talk to you later.